but I'm just gonna screen share real quick so that you understand the CMTE side of it if you're doing this for credits. Um, the main thing is today is April the 11th, 2024. You have to complete the seven credits by April 11th, 2025. So what you'll need to do is when you're at the end, this is at the first couple of pages. What is this, page three? You can click this little CMTE evaluation and it'll take you to the page, which it is now available. Now that unconference is technically the live part is over. Um, so here is what it, you have to do just to make sure that you've completed everything. And it starts here on page eight. So there was the pre-reading stuff. So if you haven't done the reading stuff, I definitely also just want to say, like, take some time to reflect on that, on the PREPARE acronym and how does it relate to what you think about therapy. And then Stuart's got his matrix to help you think about, like, nitty gritty, how could this look in reality? So this is 30 minutes that you're getting CMTE credit just for taking some time to yourself. There's no prompt there's no what you have to do, like there's no, you don't have to submit your answer. It's just that you reflect on these things. Th each of these will take you to the respective paper. If you were here all day, you've done this. If you watch this later, you just need to watch what you've missed. Uh, and then it's another 15 minutes, so 45 minutes altogether of reflecting on these questions. And then these are just some other questions that literally everybody else, This these are all directly from our people that talk today. These were some questions related to the first uh, couple of chats. And then our panelists brought us a few questions to think about as well. Um, that's it. And then you complete the CMTE evaluation. Let me share it just so you can see. Let me share my whole screen here so you can see it real fast and just know what you're getting yourself into. You'll start this. It's going to give you a little bit of information. You put your name. These are the only two like checking for comprehension. That's just I kind of want to see what people say. I'm not checking. I don't you're not getting a grade. I just want to see what you all say. And then this is do you think that this we met these couple of learning objectives and then it's rating how well everything was organized and yada yada the regular kind of stuff. But the only other caveat I have, or only other last item is to piggyback off of Andrew and Jesse's art gallery. Um, so we had this wild idea at the beginning that has morphed into something new because we let the plans be malleable. And that's um, Jesse is going to spearhead the a, a zine. If you don't know what a zine is, it's, um, again, a subversive way of... Uh, you know, it's a published, a self-published DIY magazine product. There's a whole kind of subversive uh, culture around zines. And I thought that kind of fit this vibe great. So I don't know what the heck it's going to look like, but we're going to get together and we're going to make a zine. And the point is we're going to make physical copies of that zine. If you would like to buy a memento and have a physical copy of that zine and Either way, we'll have a free digital version of that zine. And it's meant, it'll be kind of, it'll be a pamphlet, an informational memento of the experience that also might be a nice artifact to share about what is community music therapy to people that you, you know, if you're talking with someone and you need to explain it, it's like, well, here's a piece of art. Well, what do you make of that? <laughs> that might be your uh, way that you could talk to them about it. Um, spark a conversation. So that'll be a fun, like, you know, a little piece of like merch. And if you want to have something that feels, you know, oh, I was there, I've got the zine. I, we'll print as many as we need to print. I don't know what they're going to look like. I don't know how many pages they're going to be and whatnot, but we'll figure it out. Um, Jesse's going to be the art director on that, whatever that means. We just gave him a title and we'll figure out whatever that means later. But um, so to follow that up, if you have something, a uh, pro that you want to be in that art gallery. We're going to make a website page that's going to be a digital version that can live forever. Um, we'll have a place where you can also have a digital gallery that you can uh, share stuff with. But thanks again for everyone's time. Thank you for being just uh, 
such an encouraging. It was so cool to do this together. So I couldn't have imagined a better day. Y'all take care, okay?